What is up? Welcome to another edition of Sacktown Movie Buffs. Once again, I'm Kier, and this is Jason, and we are back in the fold, ready to do another new movie review that is streaming. Is it in theaters also? I think it was playing in a few theaters, but you know it's what? a Netflix it did, movie. Yeah, I think it did yeah. come out like a week ahead of time uh, yeah. from uh, from what Netflix is, is what yep. I believe. Um, and that film is called The Harder They Fall. And I say, without further ado, I say we get right into it, and I will actually take this away. Um, yeah. So The Harder They Fall is uh, predominantly a black western, if you will, um, with a lot of big name stars. This actually was directed by, uh, is it Jeremy Samuels? Um, or he also James. Yeah, James. Oh, James. James. J E Y M E S, I think. James, James Samuel. Yeah. yeah. James Samuel. He also goes by the Bullets, which is, I guess, his musical name as well. Oh. So, uh, uh, yeah. So that's that's what actually showed up when I saw who to look up who was directed by. It says the Bullets, which is a stage name, I guess. Apparently. Ah. So, uh, uh, right. Didn't know. Um, any event, <laughs> it's directed by him, uh, who's actually a, uh, I think he's a British director. Um, yeah. But this is actually more of an American film, and it does have some British actors in it, of course. Um, so basically, the, the the general principle, and it's not too much of a spoiler, uh, basically, the film kind of basically starts off uh, uh, like a family kind of eating dinner, um, and somebody comes into their home, um, set in the West, um, into their home, and basically, you know, ends up, you know, basically, you know, doing damage to the mother and father and basically scarring the child for life. Um, and then it basically kind of like flash forwards to the adult version of that child uh, actually being played by Jonathan Majors, and his name is Nat Love. And he is basically part of a crew that is actually out for basically vengeance for what happened to him as a kid. So he has a crew of uh, good guys, if you will, um, that are basically, you know, out looking for um, a crew of bad guys, if you will, outlaws. Um, and um, they're all kind of outlaws, really, though. I mean, they're, they're not, you know, it's a fine line between who's good and who's bad. I mean, they, you know, because they're outlaws, too, but they're, you know, they, they basically rob um, – they rob bank robbers, kind of thing. So it's kind of like a like a Dexter thing, you know what I mean? Like a like a Robin Hood serial killer that only kills other serial killers. They're they're bank robbers that primarily rob yeah. other bank robbers. Basically, is what they do. Yeah, like Robin Hood kind of thing almost. Yeah, like Robin Hood, something something of that nature. So they're not, you know. Yeah. But uh, basically, his crew is includes with some stars as well. It's got uh, what's their name? Uh, Zazzy Beats um, and a uh, uh, R.J. Siler um, is all part of his crew. And then on the other side, there's kind of like the bad crew, the 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 real outlaws, if you will. Um, they're the ones that are actually going out and murdering and robbing and doing most of the robbing of banks and things of that nature. And their crew is actually led by um, uh, Idris uh, Elba, who plays uh, Rufus Buck. Um, and part of his crew, he's got a lot of big name stars in his crew, which includes Regina King and Lakeith Stanfield and, uh, you know, and a bunch of other uh, famous faces and names that you may not know by name, but you probably would know by face at the very least. And that's kind of the nutshell of the film. It's basically the bad crew versus the good crew. And they're basically on a collision course to basically, you know, go head to head and, and you know, what we all hope to be a big, a big gun blazing shootout. And that's pretty much the gist of the film. I mean, it doesn't get any more simplistic than that. It's a revenge film because obviously um, uh, Jonathan uh, Major's character, Nat Love, has got some issues, and he's you know obviously looking for the people that uh, you know put the put the scar on his head and attacked his parents. And so you know he's he's got a vendetta, and there's other issues as well that the the, the two gangs have against each other as well. And and they all kind of know each other as well. They the two gangs know each other you know, or know of each other and, you know, and things of that nature. And so a lot of them have something to prove, you know, whether they, you know, one's a quick draw and there's a quick draw in the other gang. And so they kind of have like that faction of who's a faster, who's a faster, quick draw, that kind of stuff. So um, it, it's not the most original Western I've ever seen. And I'm a big Western fan. I love Westerns. I've seen other Westerns that deal with, you know, similar stuff, other revenge Western films and things of this nature. Uh, it reminded me a little bit of, of, of like Posse, which came out um, in the, was, it, was that early 90s, late 80s? I don't remember. Yeah, 93 or something like that. Yeah, it reminded me a little bit of 
posse, like kind of a, the, the all black Western, but also reminded me of a few other revenge Westerns or Westerns where this like crew versus crew kind of thing. Um, you know, even, even reminded me a little bit of tombstone in that regard, you know, because it was like mm-hmm. the Herb and his crew and then the, you know, the, the outlaws and their crew, you know, and so kind of reminded me a little bit of that. And, you know, they're kind of on road for like a big collision course to, to, to do let out. So, um, but you know, overall I enjoyed it. Um, you know, like I said, it's, Got a lot of actions, got a lot of, you know, bloodletting. If, if you're looking for a good, you know, uh, you know, Western with a decent story and good action and great actors, um, you know, I, I think this is this will be right up your alley. Um, so as an action junkie myself um, and a Western junkie, um, you know, I liked it. I thought it was I thought it was fun. Um, I thought it was entertaining. I was pretty much engaged the, the entire film. I mean, it's not perfect by any means, but it definitely is a really, really good film. I thought it was a really solid film. And definitely one that I, w- I for sure would watch again and um, had a good time. And, you know, I don't know if there's going to be a sequel or not. Potentially there could be, um, but I would be down for that as well. Um, but like I said, overall, I enjoyed it. But what was your take, Jason? Oh, yeah, I loved it. I thought it was awesome. Um, and it was it, it struck me like I don't know what I was expecting, but it was a little bit different than I expected because it was very, very to me anyway, it was very Tarantino influenced. For sure. To me, like that very first scene, the very first scene was very like, is like almost like a, a shorter version of the scene in Inglorious Bastards. You know, the scene where somebody shows up in somebody's home and, and you can't, you can't tell, you don't know the background story immediately, but there's just like, you know, something bad is about to happen. And right. uh, it, it does a really good job of setting up that kind of revenge narrative, uh, you know, right off the bat. Um, and of course, you know, like, so it was, to me, it was kind of a combination of like Inglorious Bastards and Kill Bill in a way, you know, like the setup was almost like, uh, Kill Bill in that way where it's like, you know, it, it sets up the character to get revenge on all these people, you know, this group of people, um, one by one, um, which I thought was cool. Like, I'm not, that's not a bad thing. Um, but the cast was great. Um, it was, it's very entertaining, it's long, but it didn't feel long. You know, I mean, it felt long, but not in a way that I minded. You know, I could right. say. Um, but yeah, the action's really good. The cast is fantastic. Um, I, you know, it it looks it looks a little music video ish sometimes. You know, like it almost seemed like it was going to turn into a musical in a couple couple scenes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, so it feels almost like a music video, which isn't inherently a bad thing, but it did take me out of it a little bit. And you know, like maybe it was lacking a little bit of depth. I don't know, because like the ending was like, like this big emotional scene that I was, I, it didn't really like floor me. Like, I think it, they, they want you to, they want it to have that effect on you emotionally. But, um, uh, but you know, so I mean like, you know, it wasn't perfect, like you said, but, uh, uh, I thought it was very enjoyable and I think hopefully there'll be a sequel because I mean, you know, they definitely set up for a sequel at the end and, from what I understand, it's been a pretty successful movie for Netflix. So um, yeah, was, they've been having a pretty one, successful year yeah, it was number in one general. Last week on Netflix, so I don't know if it's still number one, you know, with their stuff, but uh, but yeah. it was number one for for a brief period on Netflix. So that that alone, I think, makes it a, a success. So um, yeah, and it's very it's very well liked from what I from what I know of my yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, friends and stuff like that. I know they've seen it. Seemed like they generally enjoyed it. So I don't know anybody that right. that hated it very much. You know what I mean? Not you know. So yeah, definitely uh, most people I know yeah. enjoyed it. So yeah, I, I wouldn't see the reason why there wouldn't be a sequel for it. But uh, but yeah, no, like I said, yeah, good point. Yeah, it was real. It was real fun. Yeah, it was you know, and that's that's what it means to be really. It's fun, you know. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, there's. That's really all you can ask for in, in a film is in a Western or an action film is that it's going to be fun. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I agree. There wasn't a lot of depth, I guess, in that, in that sense, but you know, I mean, that could be argued for a lot of action films or whatever. Sure. So maybe horror films or whatever, you know what I mean? But, yeah. Um, but yeah, but I mean, you know, I mean, so if you're looking for, you know, super depth and strong backgrounds from all of the characters, you're, you're probably not going to get that necessarily because it, it inherently is a revenge film, you know? So, and that's kind of yeah. what it was meant out to be. And I don't think it was meant to be anything more than, more than that, but there is, you know, obviously a scene, like you said, that happens at the end where it's supposed to be like this emotional scene, which you know, I guess like you, I wasn't like, like floored by it. And honestly, I don't want to say that I, predicted what was going to happen at the end but it didn't like surprise me you know what i mean like oh, it, it surprised like, me 
Yeah, I, I wasn't like completely surprised by it. In fact, I was I was thinking something of that nature when, as the film went on, um, you know, I was saying I, I was wondering something about that, you know, because there's a scene, like I said, that happens in the beginning, and they don't really explain the reason for that scene, and I figured there had to be more to that story. And I was kind of leaning towards that way. But um, so, like I said, I wasn't 100 percent surprised. I didn't go. I bet that this is what's going to happen. But I definitely yeah. was leaning towards that. You know, I was thinking the whole time when I was watching, I think there's more to that story. And and I was glad that I was right. that There was more to the story. I didn't know exactly how that was going to unfold, but I figured there was more to that story. So, yeah, yeah, I did. I didn't I did not call that twist. Uh, so that was definitely a surprise for me. I just kind of assumed Without getting into detail, really, I was—I just assumed that uh, the you know whatever the beef was in the beginning was was enough something else. I'll just put yeah. it that way, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know. Sure. So, sure. but cool. yeah, I mean, like, I don't mean to say like it it totally lacked depth, and you know, like a lot of my favorite action movies don't have depth. I guess you could say, but I mean, um, I I don't know. All 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 I can say is like it didn't blow me away like some other movies have blown me away in that department, but not to say that I didn't thoroughly enjoy the entire thing. It was really fun. I would highly, highly recommend it. Cool. Yeah. Anything else you want to add about the heart of they fall now? Right. Now a great soundtrack too. Um, which it, you know, it doesn't surprise me that the, the direct, it didn't surprise me to find out afterwards that the director is a musician and a music right. producer because right he obviously put a lot of thought and time into the soundtrack because yeah. uh, it's got a really great soundtrack. Um, especially it's got a lot of uh, like reggae, which, you know, you wouldn't yeah. necessarily I, I, think like, you know, Western, Western reggae, but no, it works. Reggae, no, I, but I, I it, enjoy that as well. I definitely, uh, I was watching it with yeah. my uh, now wife. Um, yeah. I was watching yeah. it and, and I thought the same thing. I was like, yeah, it's, it's, you know, we were both were like, wow, this has got some really, really good reggae music in there. And, you know, it was, it was, you know, and we just had Ken back from Jamaica, so yeah, so, oh. <laughs> yeah, so it was awesome. You know, we we just recently got married, and so we literally just came yeah. back from Jamaica, and this is like one of the first films that we saw when we came back, um, yeah. other than what I saw on the plane, obviously. But yeah, but this is like the first film that we both saw, and I was like, oh, that's awesome. It's a film that yeah, yeah. it's got some reggae music in it. We just literally came yeah. from Jamaica and just came back from visiting like Bob Marley's you know house that he grew up in and stuff. So yeah. yeah. But um, so I wouldn't. Pretty- I wouldn't have assumed that it would go so well in a western, but it really did. No, no, it did. It, did. it worked. You know, Some, if it yeah. works, it works, man. Hey, you know, I, I can't knock it. You know, and and, and yeah. I and I appreciate a, a director that would take a chance on something that you think would be an odd pairing, and and to be able to make it work. You know, to make mm-hmm. it sound good, to make it not be so off putting or jarring, but it, it it worked. And he also did a few things with the sound. You could tell to either sped it up a little bit or made it more of that kind of westerny feel to it. So, um, so I think that also kind of helped enhance it as well. So, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Well, overall great. And face you would give the heart of they fall. Uh, I give it a real solid four out of five. So B plus, um, you know, I thought it was really, really fun there. You know, there was something, you know, sometimes you just can't explain why it's, this is a B plus and the other one's an A minus when you really enjoyed them both. But to me, this was a B plus. So four out of five, that's a, you know, pretty big smile. Loved it. I enjoyed it. I would ease, I would, I would not hesitate to watch it again for sure. For sure. Yeah. yeah, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, like I said, I'm a little bit lower than you. I did give it a three and a half out of five. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I did enjoy it quite a bit. Bit, and it's definitely one that I would I would rewatch. Um, so, like I said, three and a half out of five, and I'm gonna give it a smile with some teeth. So just because a... <laughs> I did enjoy it. Um, yeah. Like I said, definitely one I would watch again, and definitely one that I would watch a sequel whenever that were to present itself. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, but cool. Well, uh, let us know down in the comments. Have you seen The Heart of They Fall? Did you like it? Did you not like it? As always, if you like the channel, we ask that you like, subscribe, make sure you hit that bell notification so you don't miss any more updates. And we'll be back again with another show for you guys again real soon. We thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye. Bye.